everything weird. Hello everyone, this is Keith again. So this time I'm going to teach you about how we're going to create a simple dual fold invitation card. So let's go. First we're going to open Adobe Photoshop. Click on File. Click on New. Same as what we did before, we are going to use inches for our unit of measurement. Then for the width, we are going to use 8.5 this time. So when we want it to be a standee or in a portrait mode, then we're going to change the height to 11. Resolution will be 150. Click on Create. Now this time what we're going to do is to divide this one into two, which means we're going to create some sort of an imaginary foldy in this area. So first we are going to click on the slice tool. Again, the slice tool is located under crop tool. So crop tool is the basic tool that we're going to use. Then click on this one, slice tool. So click on the topmost left area, then drag it downwards to the bottom right area. Now you'll be able to notice an outline of some sort of a yellowish outline. Then afterwards, you're going to right click on the canvas, click on divide slice, then change the division to instead of vertically, you're going to use horizontally. This whole time you're going to choose two, which means the, uh, what do you call this? The invitation card will be folded into two uh, divisions, okay? So click OK, there you go. So the next thing that we're going to do, I've already prepared some of the images. Again, this is not design-wise, which means this is in a crash course basis. So let's not very much particular with the design, but instead uh, on how it's going to uh, be implemented. So I'm going to choose the invitation details. I only have two details in here. Actually, two images, I mean. So we have the background and the png file so i'll i will be providing you with a copy of this one in case you want to make a practice on this i'll be posting out on the details on the description below so click on open there you go so the first thing that i'm going to do is i'm going to use the move tool click the move tool drag it towards the untitled document there you go so if you want it to be inverted or let's say rotated you're just going to click on image I mean edit then go to transform then rotate 90 degrees clockwise there you go now if you want to resize it you can just simply resize it through here that's it so I will not be very particular with the details okay so just place it like that click on check then click on lock there you go so that it will not be movable this time I'm going to choose the ring that PNG same thing I'm going to drag it over here drag it there there you go so I already have this one is the front part and this one is the back part okay so it's up to you how you're going to place it or maybe this will be on the inner area it's still up to you guys so I'm going to place the letters let's say this is a wedding event for your friend let's say i'm going to choose andrew and rachel i'm just going to place the initials of them i'm going to choose gold for the color let's say like that a and r oops just place a r i know so resize it Place it over there. No. I don't like the design, so I'm just going to change it to something like A R capital A and R. Again, this is just a sample, so let us not be very particular with the design. So this is an impromptu basis, guys. So I know. How it would look like so let's say we already have the logo the next thing that we're going to do is just to copy the details now the details is located in here there you go so I'm just going to copy this part I'll just place it over here on this area click and drag 
there. I think I need to change the font style because I don't like it. I'll just use the simple one and place it on the right, the line right. If I want to change the color, I can just change it like that. So once it's done, I'm just going to copy this one, place it over here. And I can uh, just place the details of the address for the reception. So highlight, oops, sorry. Highlight all of them, then paste. If you want to align it in the center, there you go, just place it over there. Okay, so that's it. If you want additional details for this, so it's still up to you guys. So I'm just going to type it here. Let's say Android ratio, copy, paste, control A, center, there you go. I'm just going to change the font again. I don't like the font. Be sure that it will not overlap with what you have on this area because this will serve as the folding area. Okay, so what else? For the date, I know where I'm going to place it. Maybe it's somewhere in here. I'll just duplicate this one. So if you don't know how to duplicate it, uh, I've already created a tutorial for it on a se separate video. It's on the brochure making. So you might want to check that one out. Oops, what's wrong with this? Okay. There. Check. I'll just place it here and change the alignment of the center okay change the color if you don't like the color there you go so that is how you are going to create a dual folding of what they call this invitation card in photoshop so you're just going to play with the slice tool so basically the tool that we are going to focus on this one is just the slice tool and nothing else i still don't like the logo the design of the logo i still don't like the color and everything else it's just the concept so if you want to place an additional detail on the inner part of the uh invitation then you might as well check that one out and make an experiment on uh, how it would look like through printing a draft of your publication. Okay, so that's it for now guys So this is Keith again. Oh, by the way, I forgot to save it click on file Save as be sure that you have your backup So I always make sure that every time I'm going to create a graphic design I always create a ba backup for it. So click on file Save us. So I already created a backup. So click on save as type. I'm going to use JPEG Then type it as invitation there you go, so thank you so much guys and have a nice day. Bye. Everything weird.